obsessed with diet cherry limeades. These remind me of my childhood. I have my hibiscus, which are like my prized possession. A couple fun finds and then a couple things to repeat. Hi sis, you say hello. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is Friday night. My mom leaves on Sunday. I was gonna vlog a little bit this week, but it was kind of crazy. It was like Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday, I didn't feel really good. I kind of talked about this on my Instagram, but I have hated the anti-anxiety med I'm on. I'm on Pristique, 25 milligrams, and I really have not enjoyed it. So I missed two days because I didn't want to go refill the prescription because it was like $108 and I didn't feel good. So I called my psychiatrist, he's on vacation. So I was like, well, I don't want to go buy the med. And then a lot of you told me on Instagram to just go and get like a partial dose, which is what I did. Anyways, didn't feel great Tuesday. Wednesday was just another day at home. Thursday, which was yesterday, uh, one of my girlfriends was actually laboring up in L&D. So I went up there and kind of played doula status slash nurse slash support person. So it's been a good busy week, but I have a Stanley 40 ounce. We just ordered pizza. I'm gonna show you guys my favorite pizza that I like to order from Marco's. I don't know if a lot of you have Marco's around. I think it's a chain, cause I know my mom, like they have it back in Cedar Rapids, but I never had it when I was back home until I got to Georgia. So having a little Coke Zero. I am a big Diet Coke girl, but I swear Coke Zero is superior it's delicious anytime there's a fountain pop fountain drink station or whatever and there's coke zero i get really excited and kind of worked up but anyways got this we have friends on the tv chilling hanging out no plans so i'm not sure what we're doing tomorrow for sure i think probably lounging by the pool yeah welcome to the vlog can you say hi to youtube can you say hi sassy's in the pantry come here hi hey collins can you sit Hey, can you sit? Colleen, can you sit? Sit, sit. Collins, sit, shake. Good girl. This is my favorite pizza order. Tin crust, pepperoni, jalapeno, square cut, and then cheese bread. to share back on my sonic kick obsessed with diet cherry limeades this is the route 44 literally obsessed i got a couple things from amazon that i'm about to do but my mailbox i don't know why or how it happened but i lost the little flag of my mailbox so i found this on amazon it's a it had great reviews no tools or anything you just wipe peel stick and hold and it goes back on the mailbox so i have that and then i bought these little reflectors for both sides of the mailbox because i live on a big on a really really busy road have those but i just got a package in that i was going to unbox and open for you guys on the screen i just bought the iphone 13 pro max because you guys know i work on my phone every day all day and my iphone 12 pro max that i bought it'll be two years this coming october it is the battery life is just terrible on it i think it's because i use it so much it's cracked and there's just i don't know it's it was just time i couldn't take it anymore lots of weird things kind of just have happened with my phone so I wanted to wait for the 14 coming out this year, but I just, what I do is just, I needed to get it. So that is it. I got the color graphite iPhone 13 Pro Max, 256 gigs. So first thing that I'm doing is just backing up my phone. I just went to iCloud, search iCloud in your settings, and I just went to iCloud backup, and then I clicked backup now. So that's what it's doing right now. And then once I have that backed up, I can unbox and set up a new one. My mom's flight got 
canceled. So we ran to Publix because I wanted to get plain Greek yogurt to make uh, the ranch dip. A lot of you guys have told me on Instagram that that's a really good option to make ranch. So I'm gonna do plain Greek yogurt in a ranch packet. I grabbed another pork sirloin, sirloin, French, French, fresh pork tenderloin. I got the roasted garlic and crackled black pepper. So I'm gonna make that, I think, on the grill this week again. I found these. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these before, but I wanted to show these because I personally haven't. I have been on the hunt for my shredded Brussels for months, and this is all I can find in any of the freezer sections in all my stores. I don't know if they're discontinued or what, but I got these balsamic Brussels sprouts that go in a skillet. So I'm gonna try these. But these, pasta and broccoli, they had uh, garlic butter rotini and vegetables. These sound so good. These remind me of my childhood. I don't know, <laughs> but like in an adult version. And then they had Alfredo penne and veggies and the macros are all really great for the whole bag. So I grabbed these for easy, quick meals. These to me looked like perfect lunch meals. So I grabbed those, some more cold brew for the week, and then these, you guys, look at these. Okay, these are frozen egg white patties. So they're five grams of protein per patty, 30 calories, fat-free. The only thing that's in them is five grams of protein and two carbs. So I got those, I thought those were amazing. I bought all three bags. We're gonna see how those taste, but gonna throw together an instant pot meal I think for dinner because my mom's here for another night these are absolutely fabulous the egg whites I just showed you guys I just melted a little piece of cheese on it and some sriracha phenomenal I'm gonna buy lots more bags I'm gonna make a really quick little dinner <clears throat> so I just have the instant pot out I'm gonna do this whole box of bonza pasta it has tons of protein in it 340 calories for basically if you split this in half this box is like two servings to me in my opinion. So I'm gonna do all of this, I'm gonna break it and then I'm gonna fill it with water just so that it's covering the pasta. Put the top on and we're gonna do it for five minutes. And I believe setting wise, cause I know you guys will ask me, I think that I just do for the pasta, I just do pressure cook. So I do pressure cook, make sure it's on high pressure and do it for five minutes. Once that five minutes is up, I'm going to, I think most of the water, I can't remember, I haven't done this in a while, but I think most of the water is kind of soaked up in the pasta. If not, I'll drain a little bit of the water out and then I'm going to add this whole can of this roasted red pepper Alfredo. This has really good macros on it. I love this stuff, it tastes so good. And then I'm also gonna add in a bag of this white cabbage and carrot shredded veggies. So it's like a veggie pasta. And then I'm gonna add in some chicken as well. So that's gonna be an easy, quick little dinner tonight for our Sunday. So I just did a little bit, a pretty decent amount of that plain Greek yogurt. And I'm just gonna put this in there and I will report back what it tastes like because I wanna use like my carrot chips to dip this week into it. And supposedly this tastes pretty good with the Greek yogurt. So we're gonna try it. Here is a little close up for you guys consistency wise. It looks just like a ranch dip that you would buy at the store. It tastes legit. Like I'm gonna be doing this from now on. This is obviously way higher in protein and less calories, which is good. It's an easier way to make it too. So I really, really like it. bad you're always getting a view of my pantry it's not very cute so you can look at my pantry door I just dropped my mom off at the airport little miss had her appointment her bed appointment this morning so she was 12 weeks last Thursday and I had everybody guess on Instagram how much she weighed she weighs 19.6 pounds she's big you she's big you can you sit good job she was not able to get a flight out yesterday from Valdosta, so I ended up having to drive her all the way to Jacksonville, which is about two hours, which is not a big deal, but it just was kind of inconvenient. I was supposed to work this afternoon, only four hours, but it just kind of sucks because she was stressed out. I could tell she was super stressed out. No, no, 
she was super stressed out it was just kind of a hot mess I don't really know what's going on with airlines this year but apparently it's a pilot shortage is what I'm told so it is what it is but we made it work I got her there we had lunch at true food kitchen and now I work tomorrow so I kind of had my day kind of filled with that it's four o'clock fourth almost five o'clock right now so i am working a 12-hour shift tomorrow labor and delivery um i will definitely be laboring tomorrow so hey sissy no no she's in a jumping phase right now we're into the jumping so i'm gonna go through a couple things to get ready for my shift i'll show you guys how to pack for my lunch uh waking up everything like that like a day in the life of a labor and delivery nurse 7 a to 7 p so right now i actually stopped at costco in jacksonville because i love costco i also sam's club is my favorite but the closest one to me is in tallahassee and that's about an hour and a half away but jacksonville one was right there so i did stop and grab some things so i was going to show you guys really quick a little costco haul these are things a lot of this is repeat buys and things I shove in my freezer because people always say, how do you have so much food for one person? I freeze so much stuff and I just pull it out to use. And a lot of this, like I said, is repeat buy. So I did find a couple fun finds and then a couple things to repeat. So this was not a repeat buy. This is Girl Scout Thin Mint Pretzels. Those sounded delicious. So I grabbed those to try. Sis, you need to stop jumping. Liquid IV, I drank one every single day. Strawberry and lemon lime are my favorite flavors. I did just get the Tropical Punch one. They sent that to me and I tried it and love it. It is available on Amazon, but I figured I would grab those at Costco while I was there. These are the best sweet potato fries. If you don't have these, I finished these last week with my mom here. They're so delicious. I love these. It's a really big bag and it lasts a long time. I've had that other bag since like January and we just finished them and they're great. These are amazing. Also just finished these a while ago, a little while ago. They're lightly breaded chicken breast chunks they're pretty good nutrition wise ingredients and everything like that they have 16 grams of protein per serving and they're very comparable to chick-fil-a another repeat by these fully cooked mini wontons chicken and cilantro i believe the serving size is eight yeah eight pieces and it's like 130 calories a really good easy meal you put it in soup you can have it with rice lots of different options i just really enjoy a little something different like that my mom told me that these were good these sun-dried tomato and mozzarella turkey burgers and i have turkey burgers in my freezer at all times just different kinds and they look pretty dang good so those are really easy meals for me this is also really easy to throw in a tupperware and take to work so that's just a good little option there's like 170 calories per turkey burger those looked good i absolutely love cherries but i really like the frozen ones these are great to throw in yogurt i like to put these in tupperware for work and they're really good as they kind of thaw out a little bit but there's endless options obviously smoothies and stuff but this bag will last me forever this is my favorite turkey from costco i absolutely love their honey roasted it's addicting so i bought two i'm gonna throw one in the freezer and one in the hi babies you guys being so cute one in the fridge oh my goodness i cannot you guys are the cutest this one right here is also really good this is an herb roasted i tried this one the last time i went to costco and i loved it it's no fat basically one carb 13 protein for two ounces so another good option but i'll put two of these in the freezer and then my mom said that she follows these girls on tiktok who try all of the costco foods and she said they reviewed this this summer fresh sesame noodle i love stuff like this so i'm gonna give that a try and then i grabbed these these looked really good mix these with like carrot chips or something with hummus i thought those looked delicious another recommendation my mom said from the tiktok costco girls was margarita flatbread pizza boats so those will go in the freezer those looked really good grabbed some strawberries. I'm going to cut those up for work. And then I got some makeup wipes. This is like 139 count. I don't always use these, but they're nice to have. I like them for travel, especially. And then poopery because I have these in all of my bathrooms. I grabbed these uh, green drinks. I love green drinks. I'm not positive if I love this brand, but there's only six and they're not too, it wasn't too expensive. So I grabbed that 45 calories. And then a lot of people are kind of controversial about these. Some people told me they did not like these. I had a girl DM me and she's like, I love half of what you recommend, like not half, over half, most of what you recommend, but felt like these were kind of rubbery. I guess to each their own, I absolutely love them. So I'm gonna throw both of these in the freezer because I actually pulled out some chicken for the next couple days already for myself. So I'm gonna throw those in the freezer. Most of this is going in the freezer, but I just wanted to show you guys a few fun little Costco finds because I like going to Costco. It's a little bit different than Sam's Collins. Holly, come here, Holly girl. So as far as plans for the rest of the night, 
she's trying to eat my tripod. I need to walk the pups, but I need to wait for the sun to go down because it's just been so, so, so hot that we just have been trying to go on walks a little bit later in the day. So we will do that. I did get a dual leash and I'll probably show that in this vlog. I showed it on Instagram and a lot of you told me that you absolutely love that. I think I'm going to start some laundry. I need to get laundry done. I need to hang up a bunch of clothes. The house is pretty decently clean because when my mom's here, she helps me. She helped so dang much, you guys. Collins is hitting the bell to go outside all the time. She has not had an accident, knock on wood, in a week. So it was last Monday that she had an accident in the house that night when my mom first got here. But ever since my mom's been here and there's been two of us in the house just consistently, you know, working with her, watching her, at, like encouraging her to go with the bell. I think three weeks of me being psycho about it obviously helped, but this was her fourth week. She, it'll be four weeks on the 23rd that I've had her, but she has it. She hits the bell a lot and sometimes it's to hit the bell to go outside and basically do nothing, but that's okay with me because it just means that she gets the concept. I am not having to, you know, take her out every 20 minutes now. She tells me when she has to go. And I've been taking a little bit of a risk with it too. Like, do you need to go outside or are you, you going to tell me? And honestly, in the last four days, I've just let her tell us and it's been great. I did open up this right here. So actually I did have a little gate right here, but this actually opens up in the house to the garage. And this is the little gate I had. But what I did was I just opened this up so she can go all around here and then I wanted this to be open because Kaiser's bowl is in here. So I wanted Kaiser to be able to get to his water dish and stuff. She can come in here too if she wants to, but Kaiser has a big water uh, container in here and then obviously that's his food dish and she will eventually be in here sorry i need to hang up some more clothes but she no no she will eventually be in here but for now i've just kind of kept them separated but this way i have that door i'm also redecorating in here i have this door closed to my closet and then the door to my bedroom so this is really the only room she has availability to but this way baba can get to his food dish because i i hate feeling like he was neglected with that gate. This way he can come back here if he wants to and to get away from her because she can be a lot. Hi, can you be a lot? Collie, Collins, come in. I got the new key lime burr bars in the mail. I'm gonna throw one in for work tomorrow. It's really good. Crazy found herself my headband. Okay, okay, that's enough. That's enough, you're gonna rip mama's headband. Thank you. Hey, Collins, no thank you. That's mama's headband. Try to spend as much time outside as possible. Kaiser, are you coming? Collins likes to get in the pool quite frequently. I did get some new planters. These ones are a little bit more manageable for out here. I don't really know why the other ones didn't do so great, but it's just so hot out here. They look a little, a little dreary right now, but. And then these are hydrangeas. These are all, they kind of all have like new little bloomies. So I've been like deadheading the heck out of them and hoping they're gonna come back, which I think they will. And then out here, I have my hibiscus, which are like my prized possession. I deadhead these every single day, but they're my favorite because they just remind me of the tropics, which is personally my favorite type of vacation as anything tropical at all. So I need to water all of this stuff, get everything watered up, and play a little bit of fetch with the dogs, which they absolutely love. The pool has been glorious because it is perfect, 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 perfect outside. Uh, I think, don't look at my toes, toenails. The temp has been really, really nice for being in the pool. And like I said, Collins absolutely loves to get in here. I'm gonna go ahead and water these plants. I am 
making a little bit of dinner. So I'm just having leftovers. I'm gonna eat the rest of the uh, little pasta bake that I made last night in the Instant Pot. I'm gonna add some sriracha and goat cheese to top that off again like I did last night. But I was gonna tell you guys, I when I'm making dinner, I need to eat some, like I'm starving right now. So this is the cottage cheese I buy. I'm the only one eating it, so don't yell at me for eating right out of it. But a little bit of sriracha and some spices change the freaking cottage cheese game. I swear it makes it so much better. Just a little, little tip. So I won't like actually dump it in there, but I'll just do like a teeny little bit on a spoonful, you guys. It is so good. Add a little bit. That should be perfect. Absolutely delicious. So easy to make. You could do so many different uh, vegetable packs in there. You could do different kinds of noodles. It takes minutes to make that in the instant pot. I am gonna change the laundry. I feel like I'm narrating my night, but I'm trying really hard to get back into the swing of things. I am going to switch the laundry over and then I'm gonna go take the dogs for a walk. It's like seven here. It's uh, 6.46, so perfect timing in Georgia because if you're from Georgia or you live in the South, you know it's so hot. I cannot walk the pups unless it's either really early in the morning, like before the sun gets really, really hot or right now. So I'm gonna go take them for a walk. I'll show you guys the leash. We try to walk a mile. Collins is doing really well with it. We're trying to figure out the dual leash situation, but she's getting a lot better. It's You're only supposed to really walk puppies like her. They say five minutes per month. So she's 12 weeks, so like 15 to 17 minutes twice a day so a mile is like perfect for her especially in this heat so we're gonna go get a walk in switch the laundry over and then I will pack my lunch as well for work tomorrow for those of you who ask about working 12s I have really great friends who are willing to come and help me so she will be in her crate because that's safe for her I can't leave her out she's little she would get into something pee poop in the house that's just not a thing and she's very comfortable in her crate she'll be in her crate and then she'll be let out three times while I'm at work and they'll play with her my friend Shelly and her husband are incredible he'll come in the morning Shelly will come midday and then uh, she'll come again after if I need her depending on I can watch Collins on the camera the whole time and then at home when I get home I'll take him for a walk like right now they need, they're rowdy. They need to go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. And yeah, Okay, so just to show it really quick, here's my little fanny pack, and then this is the little belt. I have poop bags on one clip, but there's another clip here. I have the dogs hooked here. There's a little latch here that I can pull up and use. There's another little latch down here and it's like bungee proof or whatever. And then obviously one is on Collins and one is on Kay. And it has like an anti, I don't know, so that they don't get stuck or whatever. But that is what we work with. The block was so hot. We got it done and it's very buggy in Georgia. One of the things I do every single night, I pull Collins water bowl approximately, so it's 7.30, we just go back from the walk, I let her drink as much as she wanted to, and then I pulled it, and I wash it every single night, because this is the Luma leaf, I got this off Amazon, but it's a uh, water splash proof bowl. So you put this in here, and then this goes on the top, and I'll refill this in the morning for her, and Kaiser drinks out of it too, and then this goes on, and the water fills up, and then all she has to do is kind of poke her paw in, just that way, because she loves water, and her splashing the water, all over my house every single day was and she has my leggings hold please no ma'am but i'm actually going to clean this is the big water dispenser i got this from PetSmart that i got for kaiser and collins now because i have that door open so i'm just going to go ahead and dump it all out i like to wash it a couple times a week one to two times a week just because it can get a little bit yucky in there so that's where you fill it up at it has a little filter thingy in there keeps everything like the water coming down or whatever but I'm gonna go ahead and clean this out and refill it next on my list tonight I'm going to remake my mom's tea so first thing I'm doing get your water going really really hot you need one Earl Grey tea bag and then two just regular I just have these two regular Lipton iced tea bags but the Earl Grey is super important that's what makes it really good all my mom does is two of those tea bags and then one of the Earl Grey get the really hot water like I said and you're just going to use the hot water, put the three tea bags in, and then she lets it sit overnight. You could let it sit on the counter if you want to. I personally put it in the fridge and it still tastes really, really good. So we're going to do these three tea bags and then once that water is super hot, fill this bad boy up and we'll have iced tea. My hair is just all over the place. If you can see my extension line, 
disregard. <laughs> it's been a freaking long day. So there's that. I swear to you, this sliced tea is so delicious. And then once your tea is done, I add to Truvia. That's what I have for sweetener. That's what I have in my Stanley cup over there. So good. I have a very bad headache right now. So I'm going to stop vlogging tonight and just kind of relax and unwind before I go to work tomorrow. But I wanted to show you really quick what I have packed for lunch tomorrow. I'm actually eating one of these right now. I talked about these in my last YouTube video, the ratio yogurt, 25 grams of protein in them. I have just a little bit of fruit in mine. That's what I'm having just as a little after dinner snack. This is the lunch box that I use. I got this off of Amazon. I've had it for a little while. I love it. I have, stuff in here. I have liquid IV in there, just some extra drink mix stuff. I have a protein shake. Uh, these are my favorite to put over ice at work. And then just some fruit. I have grapes, blueberries, strawberries in there. Another yogurt, a key lime a verb bar, two hard boiled eggs. I actually have a little baby sriracha I'm gonna throw in my lunchbox here that I'll eat with that. And then some Ritz peanut butter crackers. I am not a huge eater at work. I think I've talked about this before, but it just depends on how busy the day is. If I'm actually, if I'm more starving, I will run out of the cafeteria and grab two chicken breasts. These two are driving me insane. Uh, but that is what I have packed for at lunch. Good morning, you guys. It is six o'clock right on the dot, 5.59. Just kidding. I am very, very tired this morning, so I didn't film everything, but I just have my scrubs on. I have my pink top. We have to change when we get to work. I just have my hair up in a messy bun that I'm sure I'll redo seven times today. A little lemon headband sports bra, sweatshirt to wear in because I'm cold. And then I will grab my lunch, my water. I'm gonna make some coffee this morning, but that's kind of my routine. It's nothing special. I can't film anything in the hospital. So I will let you guys know how work was tonight and we'll see. I think it's gonna be a crazy busy day. It's always busy on Tuesdays, so I feel like I'm gonna be on my feet. But yeah, I'm gonna head off to work, 12 hours. <sighs> Happy Tuesday. So I just got home from work. Okay. I got home from work a while ago, looking like a flipping hot mess. I'm super tired, have lots of white zits on my face. I'm trying so hard not to pop. It's 8.35 right now. The dogs are wild. I took them for about a mile and a half walk because obviously Collins was in her crate a lot more today than she normally would be. She was let out three times. I have great friends that help me, but they needed some exercise, so we did that. I delivered two girls, so I had two deliveries, two laboring patients, um, two girls, and it was crazy. I really didn't eat very much. I had two packs of peanut butter crackers because that was what I was just wanting. Sometimes you just want to sit down and eat something really, really quick uh, when it's busy like that. So that's what I did. But now I just have a chicken breast all chopped up. I'm going to have that. And then I have a veggie noodle pack going in the microwave. But yeah, this is kind of what a day looks like. I will always get home after work and walk the dogs just so they have some exercise and get them moving. But I am putting away laundry, trying to keep them out as long as possible. Cool Collins, especially lots of energy right now <laughs> and getting ready for a couple productive days so I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if there's anything you want to see always in the comments just let me know make sure you subscribe so you never miss another video and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys